Hello again, good morning. This is a short gua sha video to smooth and lengthen out contracted, shortened, congested areas around the mouth, the lips, the jawline, and also to address number 11, which a lot of the people um, worry about. We are going to use a gua sha. I'm going to use this shape today, but any shape will work. Whatever you have, your favorite stone, your favorite oil, warming up your oil. And already with the oil, I'm starting to do a bit of stretching, letting the muscle lengthen. light touch here under the jaw wake up the lymphatic nodes that live here sliding down to the collarbone down the lymphatic highways lymph nodes here as well and lymph nodes underneath the collarbone. Uh, you could also make a sound if you want, it's fun. Uh, <laughs> super. Now, taking your tool, jawline, I am going to use this edge here. I'm going to hold my skin, my muscle, my fascia, everything, uh, anchored at the point where my movement initiates. And I'm sliding up to the ear. Noise. Long, smooth strokes, yeah? Holding at the point where your movement initiates, going up, feeling the two ends of the elastic band are separating from where you start your movement to where you're going. Seven strokes, seven to 10, maybe something like this, then wiggle, also lymphatic nodes here in front of the ear, slide down wiggle encouraging lymph super over to the other side tool flat to the skin skin well moisturized with oil relax the muscles you're not using relax your jaw relax your eyes Think about something pleasant, like a morning cup of coffee, if you're a coffee drinker. Super. Sliding and sliding, but rather wiggling. Down here, super. Now, this is a very tense part for a lot of us. So you could use any part of your gua sha tool. If you've got a heart-shaped gua sha, you could use that indentation between the two um, parts of the heart on top very very tough this little bit here very um sort of hardened with age on a lot of us so you could work with that smoothing it out digging right into the muscle okay it's not skin it's not even uh fat layers we are interested in here it's muscle you've got a sore, sore tooth, sore teeth gua sha like this, with some support, you could also walk like this. And you aren't providing support for here, you're providing support for here, so that the corners of the mouth don't get involved. Really, really good to relax this area, guys. Could also do it with your hands if you don't have a gua sha or if you're just watching daily, you know, something like this. Just smoothing it out. Super now we're just
Now we're going to work here with the corners of the mouth. So this area here is what we're interested in. The muscle itself, the vertical muscle that pulls the corner of the mouth down. And the fat and fascia on top. You could work with it like that. You could also anchor it so that nothing travels with you for the ride and do little strokes like this over the muscle. Everything is anchored, your skin doesn't travel with you. So you think muscle goes like this and we are relaxing the muscle fibers. So I'm holding my tool 45 degrees. Flat to her skin. Super. And then you can also lengthen the muscle after you've done your walk. Just like this. Super. Over to the other side. Was I using this one? Anchor where your movement starts. Smoothing out this area here. And then the vertical muscle, we're going to work with it at 45 degrees. Spend some time to anchor. When your skin is oily, it can be a little bit difficult, but you can still do it. I've just anchored mine like this. Flat tool. This one here, yeah, again, just to remind you what we're doing. Super, and then stretch it out. And while I was doing this, I noticed that my chin is getting <laughs> back into its contracted state. So if you notice your chin wanting to lift towards the lower lip, relax it, okay? Now we're going to go over the top lip and any indentation in your gua sha will do. You can hold your lips where your movement starts. If you've got quite a few vertical wrinkles here, you could do one side at a time, anchoring in the middle and just going over one side. My situation here is <laughs> not too bad, so I'm going to anchor on one side and I'm going to slide all the way from here to there. in this area. Now you could also take the ridgy part, the saw teeth. That also is quite nice. If you've got that. Super. And then also we could work with a little bit of a 45 degree action similar like we did here, going against the muscle fibers. It's nice to stretch out that lip so it's not making your wrinkles any worse if you've got them, the vertical ones. And go like this. Flat to, nearly flat to the skin. If you don't have teeth on your tool, just go like that, that's fine. And over to the other side. Spend time to anchor. You see, I'm pressing down so that there is no loose skin on my way. Super. And then stretch. Stretch.
now another few minutes on the middle face and this area here so here at the middle face i'm going to anchor my skin as close to the nose as i can holding my fingers flat creating an anchor along the whole line that i'm walking flat skin flat tool to the skin rather a long line all the way to the ear This could have collected some lymph, so giving it a wiggle here. Down. Super. Now, shorter uh, scrape strokes, what I would call them. Uh, you could use this if you want. Whatever your shape is, you could still use any surface. Like this, or this, or even this, if you fancy. So I'm going to do it like that. So slide scraping. It's like you have chocolate sauce on your face and you are trying to clean it up a little bit. Actually, this is probably better. Little scrapes, so not long, just like this. Work in the area of the nasolabial crease. Super, and lastly, this line itself, anchoring it, and 45 degrees. You see, you're not stretching the skin, nothing's traveling with you. Super. Other side, long strokes. Holding at the point where your movement initiates, all the way to the ear. Again, that ear, right? <laughs> Number two. Yeah. Flat to relaxed face. We go here. Da. Slide scraping. I'm going to do this. Little strokes. Working this stuff here, yeah. Super. And then finally, your nostrils might <laughs> open up. So if you've got a tissue um, to do a cleanup, if that's happened, go for it. And then 45 degrees against the fibers. Well oiled skin, too flat. Do not dig your stone in like this. Super. Finally, this bit here. Same idea, my friends. You could fastly anchor and then slide out. 45 degrees like this. Any ridge of your tool will do. And do try to create that feeling of separation between two ends of the elastic band. in this direction, yeah? And then here. Do not rush, lengthening this area out. And then the other thing you could do is anchor, and then again, the vertical line we've got 45 degree angle, flat two, and then 
on the other side also find a way that works for you to anchor could be a little bit tricky depending on if you're right or left-handed try to flatten the two a little bit and you are creating redness it's a bit of micro trauma to the skin that is exactly right unless you have some damage in this area sunburn some active acne that's totally cool and then stretch it out like this you see the muscle wants to contract here don't repeat this kind of demo and then we are lengthening it out a little bit of blood flow mm -hmm. and these guys here anchor where your movement starts a little bit of face cardio 45 degrees up Pressing into the bone, but out parallel to the skin, other side. Super. And these guys here. <laughs> Don't do this with your fingers once you've placed them on the face. Instead of this, do this. And that's it. Hope it was useful. Have a good weekend.